Question 9, part A. Simplify a to the power of 4 times a to the power of 5. Because both of our base values are a, we can use a law of indices here to show what happens. What we do is we just add the powers together. So 4 add 5 is 9. So that's a to the power of 9. Part b asks us to simplify 45 e to the power of 6, f to the power of 8, divided by 5 e, f squared. This looks long and complicated, but simplify each section one at a time. Deal with the numbers, then e's, then f's. Other side is that the fact we're using a different law of indices here, which is the division law, which states that if you're dividing things with the same, pow same base number, the powers subtract. So 45 divided by 5 is 9 e to the power of 6 divided by e, well, the number missing there would be e to the power of 1, so 6 take away 1 is 5, so that becomes e to the power of 5. f to the power of 8 divided by f to the power of 2. 8 take away 2 is 6, and that would be our simplified form. 9, e to the power of 5, f to the power of 6. Part C, write down the value of 9 to the power of a half. Well, fractions give us roots instead of squares and cubes, so a half is the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3.